What's up gamers, it's Daily here, and we are finally back with a new update for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. It has been a few months, I think actually a little over a month, um, a month and maybe like two weeks, something along those lines, but it feels like it has been quite some time since we've got a new update in this game, and we have a new unit available, the Mongolian Soldiers. There is only one new unit available, which is a bit of a bummer, but they did a lot of bug fixing, and uh, I think they just fixed the build quite a bit. They also added a new god power, the Tornado, so that's cool too. Not a ton of new content for the player, but it seems to have stabilized the build a lot, so that's great. So, we have 3 million of these Mongolian soldiers. I've never seen them in action. I have no idea how powerful they are. Versus an entire castle of Crusader Knights. Uh, about 45,000 Crusaders inside this castle. They've got footmen, they've got catapults, they've got archers, and then in the interior, a whole lot of heavy knights to defend. So, it should be pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Let's get into it! Alrighty then gamers, pressing start right now, and we're going to see how tough these, uh, I almost said Mandalorian, Mongolian soldiers are. I, I really don't know. I mean, historically they should be fairly tough, but, uh, you know, who knows if, uh, if this is going to be historically accurate or not. Tons of catapult shots and archer shots going into these boys. That is a PEA beautiful sight. The barbarians taking many a hit in the early wee hours of the battle. Oh, it is tough out here. All right, right now we are looking at uh, 10,000 kills for the footmen and 2,600 kills for the Mongolians. I think most of the footmen kills are in fact coming from the catapults and uh, archers, but I do have to say, it does seem like the Mongolians aren't like butchering through the footmen or anything like that. The footmen are holding their own. So maybe this is going to be a unit more on par with footmen versus more on par with like heavy knights or Spartans. You know, they, they might be more Persian slash footman level, which is definitely a tier below. Let's actually check them out. Uh, 150 health. Yeah. Footmen also have 150 health. So it looks like, yes, they are going to be on par with these guys rather than stronger than them or anything along those lines. It's probably going to be a fairly inconsequential unit when it comes to battlefields. These are the units you kind of use to make up the backbone of your army rather than anything else. <laughs> they're, they're not like a powerhouse unit. They're not like the Heavy Knights. They're not like the Spartans. They are not going to single-handedly destroy five different units all at once. They're just okay. We do have a bit of a breakthrough over here. They're pushing through sheerly by the size of their numbers and that is going to be enough for them to make some big pushes here. I love seeing the catapults just like randomly haul butt on in there. That looks kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. And here we go, they're charging through, going towards the gates. They're not even close to being into the castle yet. They've still got a long ways to go before they get to that point. Um, there are two openings to this castle, I believe. Yes, there's one over here, guarded by quite a number of catapults. That would be a value target to go ahead and hit. And then one over here, again, flooded with catapults. So these catapults are fairly vulnerable over here, but for now, they do seem to be able to just squash these uh, Mongolians pretty easy. Pretty easy, Golf. It's, it's not too hard. Uh, looks like we are looking at 15,000 kills for the Mongolians, mainly footmen in that regard, and 64,000 kills for the footmen. I think once the Heavy Knights get involved here, though, it's going to be a very different story. It's going to be a lot harder for the Mongolians to get any kills. And the Footmen will probably be sweeping them quite a bit. But we do have our Catapults here getting flooded. That's never a good thing. Catapults getting flooded like this <laughs> means that you're about to lose a lot of your firepower. Ah, uh, it's a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous right here. Why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse here of uh, this uh, front gate being charged by Mongolians. Alright, so we just saw the Mongolian army basically charge up into the front gates here, and as they did so, they started to take more losses and kill less, so it looks like those choke points are going to be going into effect right about now. There's still a few stragglers on the outside of the gates, 
And is this gate compromised? Um, not quite yet fully, actually. This gate's doing a little bit better than the other one. But yeah, it is interesting to note that actually as they come up to these choke points, they're already starting to do better. Um, the choke points, that is, not the Mongolians. The Mongolians are doing quite worse. <laughs> Maybe that's the activation of these catapults and like the myriad of archers that we have inside here. But right now, the Crusader army is doing a little bit better than previously. So, you know, this choke point could be exactly what they need uh, to succeed. Of course, this is just a test, so, you know, don't get me wrong, it's very fun to see this, but this was not supposed to be a balanced game because I've never used the Mongolians before. This is my first time seeing them on screen with you guys right now, so, uh, you know, I was not able to do a balanced game, so whatever happens in this happens, you know, we, we can't necessarily uh, predict what happens or anything like that in this with such a new unit uh, but maybe the crusaders are going to be able to do this either way let's go ahead and run a time lapse here of the inner gate now because i think that'll be pretty interesting you can check out the stats at the top right uh if you guys are curious as to what's going on in the battle and all that stuff but uh yeah let's let's get it Alright, so I mean, as it seems right now, the uh, Mongolians aren't getting anywhere inside. They're getting full stopped at the exterior of the gates, it seems. Nothing really happening too crazy here. This is, uh, pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff. The Mongolians just getting hard stopped, and they're not getting many more kills. Meanwhile, the Crusader Knights are. So let's go ahead and just leave this for a while. Let the Mongolians cook for a bit, and uh, we'll be back to check in what's going on. It has been an hour now, and barely anything has happened. <laughs> the Mongolians are just getting completely clobbered at the gates here. Nothing is happening. So I think now's a good time to go ahead and try out the brand new tornado. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's kind of incredible. Does it kill them, though? Um, it hurts them for sure. I don't see any bodies on the ground. I don't think it kills them. How long does it go on for, though? This is just like tearing it up here. Tearing it up some. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't go on for super long or anything like that. I mean, it definitely does damage, but it's not like they're dying. Maybe, maybe on the second tornado around they'll die. Oh, it has a long cooldown too. You can't just like spam tornadoes. It's got a 15 second cooldown. So you have to wait completely for the last tornado to finish before you can toss another tornado out there. And there you go. Now we could do another tornado. That's cra- it looks really sick. It's a cool effect. I do wish it, like, killed them. <laughs> I could be a lot more interesting if, uh, you know, this actually killed the enemies. But it does damage, at least does do like a little bit like look yeah they're bloody how much health do you have you have full health okay you have 18 okay you're almost dead you have full health it seems to only damage some of them too 122 health that did like 18 damage to that man <laughs> what the heck all right let's see maybe it'll maybe it'll curve into the castle a little bit no it's going the other way it is going the other way <laughs> it's a fun feature i do have to say it is pretty fun I do like it quite a bit, um, but it doesn't seem to really do all that much or anything like that, so uh, it's okay. It's alright. I give it like a B plus, B minus, maybe. <laughs> alright, um, why don't we continue to let things run here for a while. Uh, nothing's nothing's really happening. I think, I think the Crusaders are just going to hold, but we'll let it run for like another hour or two, see what happens.
Okay, I let that shiz run for like four hours actually, uh, which has resulted in uh, looks like 2.1 million Mongolians dead. But kind of kind of bored, and I want to I want to tornado the castle and see what happens. Oh, it's going outside of the castle. No, the poor Mongolians again. Why do I keep torturing them like this? These poor chaps. Oh my god, I think actually a lot more of them are actually dying this time around because they've been weakened by the catapults as well as the archers. Alright, this time we'll really do it, like, in the smack dab. Yeah! Yeah! Oh no, it's going outside again! Ah, the poor Mongolians! <laughs> oh my god. Look at them, they're getting the salads tossed. Absolutely tossed. Actually, I think it destroyed... Oh, it did! There's remnants of catapults! I think it destroyed a lot of the catapults there. Oopsie. <laughs> That's Bobby. That's Bobby completely. Um, still didn't really do anything. God, this this battle is taking freaking forever! Kind of bored. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's the tornado again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the problem really that we're facing right now is that Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, it's super fun, it's obviously great, but everyone has done every possible simulation at this point. And it's been like, you know, a month and a half or whatever since they've done new updates. This is the first new update we've gotten, and it just doesn't really add all that much. You know, I'm grateful that we are getting updates. I'm grateful that they're stabilizing the game as well. That's, you know, going to be key, especially for when they release the Steam Workshop and, and stuff like that. But I I'd almost rather they didn't add anything in this update and it was a complete and utter patch update. Because this just feels a little lackluster to me. Like, I, 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 to be quite brutally honest with you guys, I'm a bit bored with Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. That's why I haven't really been uploading it all that much. And it seems like you guys are honestly pretty bored with it as well, considering the views on the videos for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 are super down. Um, so, you know, it comes at a tough time where it's like, I don't think people really care all that much about Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 at the moment, and you know, they sort of toss us this update, but it's not really a great update to be completely honest. It just adds like a, a little bit. This is pretty much all it adds, is Tornadoes and Mongolians, so, uh, you know, it, it's certainly a little bit rough here. Uh, so I'm just ruining this battle, <laughs> because honestly, I don't want to let it sit for another four or five hours. It's pretty clear that the Crusaders would win. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to go celebrate uh, Christmas with my family and stuff like that. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm recording this, uh, and I think my family's about to get up, because um, they like to sleep in and stuff like that. So I'm going to go hang out with them, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, started recording this, uh, and, uh, that was a while back, and it's actually, it's almost two. Okay, <laughs> Zelda has been sleeping in for a while, so we're gonna go wake her up. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.